Welcome back to CVAComputer.tips. My name is Christopher Duncan and I'm your instructor for this tip. And today we're going to be talking about one of those great unsolved mysteries of Microsoft Excel, and that is why don't my numbers add up? There are basically two different ways to change the appearance of a number, and the more common one is called number formatting. As you can see here in my column J, I have a list of numbers here. And those numbers are added up down here on row 7. I can change those numbers to look like a currency just by selecting them and then coming here to the number group and clicking on the drop down beside general and choosing currency. So far so good and if any of you want to pull out your calculator you can see that this all still adds up correctly. However what oftentimes happens is that when people are dealing with currency or other numbers where they have multiple decimal places, they may want to just round things. And I'm using the word round with big air quotes around it. So for example, here on the number group, I can actually decrease the number of decimal places. And now, I, as you can see, I've gotten rid of the cents portion of my prices. But if you were to pull out that calculator one more time, you would see that these four numbers only add up to $179. And this 181 is a larger number than the actual 18096 that we know the total should be. So this is a feature of number formatting that you just can't get around. If, on the other hand, you actually do want to round your numbers, in other words, if you want these numbers to add up correctly and you want to throw away decimal precision over here in column I, we can do that very easily. Here in column K, I'm going to add a function called round, and the round function will actually take care of all of that for me. The easy way to do it is to come up here to the formulas tab, click on the math and trig drop down, scroll down and find the round function. Click on it. And now it's going to ask me where the number is that I want to round. And I'm just going to click on I3. And it's going to ask me how many digits I want. And I'm going to tell it zero. In other words, I don't want any decimal places. And I'll go ahead and click on OK. Now I can use my auto fill down. Come down here to row 6. And when I put my cursor in K7, I'll go back to the Home tab. And just add that convenient auto sum. And now you can see the number correctly adds up to $179. So if you've got a problem with numbers that just aren't adding up, even though they seem like everything else is working fine, check and see if you're using number formatting or if you're actually rounding the numbers and find out if you've got a problem with your precision. 